you doing today? Welcome to Life with Bilsif. I'm your host, Bilsif. Today on the Bilsif Show, we're talking cameras. So if you want to talk cameras, stick around. If you don't want to talk cameras, then go fly a kite. Why wouldn't you? I had, I recently um, advertised some GoPros. I'm going to sell some GoPros because I want to get one new GoPro and get rid of some other cameras I'm not using. So I'm going to sell this Hero 8 Black with a media mod case. I'm going to sell this Hero 7 with a case. A couple memory cards, a couple batteries that are dick, but you're going to need new batteries, but that's okay. You can do that. You know, a stand. Nothing major, just a few things I'm selling with it. And then I'm going to sell this thing over here. This camera here, I haven't used it in years. I'm waiting for, I ordered a charger for it because I lost a charger. This camera is still going for $1,200 new and about $399 US used. So I'm going to put all this online because I got, you know, the, the mic and light and cards and the wireless mic and stuff like that. I'm going to put it all on for 700 bucks. And then just take an offer for that. Something, sometimes you just gotta vent your stuff. I like to get a hold. I was gonna get the 360, like I mentioned on yesterday's video, but I got reading, I got watching some more reviews on that, and uh, there's a few things that are deal breakers for me. So what? It gets a little better, low light level lighting. I don't care. You know, that's not important to me. What's important to me is the overall quality. So. I think I'm going to stick with the GoPro, but I'm going to go with the 12 if I sell this stuff. I can't buy it unless I sell this stuff, but I'm going to go with the 12 because it lasts longer with the battery. It doesn't overheat as fast. It's got a few options that are pretty neat. Snowflake. What? I'm trying to do a video here, you know. Hey, you want to say hi? Say hi then. How you doing? No purr purr. Is that all you wanted just to be held for a minute? Huh? I hate animals, but this is the only animal I'll put up with. I hate dogs, I hate cats, but this one, it's okay. I'll deal with it. I'll deal with you, and that's it. Why wouldn't I? Beat it. Anyway, so that's what I'm thinking. Leave your comments down below and let me know what kind of camera you want, you use if you do video vlogs or whatever else vlogs. If you don't do anything, or racing, if you do racing or whatever, let me know what kind of camera you use. I got a couple real old ones up there, but they're not mine. They're just there. One of them's stickered. The other one's kind of, the battery's kind of done in it, and it's an internal battery. And the other one I've never tried, so... There you go. I got cameras kind of my ass right here right now. I do try to offload these and we'll see what happens. I still got two drones. I still, I sold a couple drones. So I'm, I'm down to, I, I got the DJI mini pro, which has got the optical avoidances. I got that little guy there, which is a great little drone. And I have my DJI air two S as well. And I've upgraded to these remotes. Which I'm not a fan of if you guys are using these remotes. They're kind of cocked over. They don't really get as good as a signal as the original ones I don't find. I find it gets choppy. That could be just me. Could be a firmware update. I don't know. Speaking of firmware updates, I gotta update this, this GoPro. And I should probably update those GoPros. I should really clean them up too. They're kind of dirty. But who really gives a shit? They're used, but good. This one might need a new lens too. I don't know. Got a couple marks on it. You know what really blows me away is the 7 is an interchangeable lens, the 8 is not. Well it is, but you got to unpeel it. That's kind of stupid if you ask me. This is how long it's been since I used the Hero 8. These batteries I left in the charger, look at them. They're done. They're all swollen and decked over, so that's why I said you might need new batteries. These batteries here, I'm pretty sure one's a no-name and one's a GoPro. Yeah, one's a no-name. They work, they just don't work for a long time. So it needs new batteries. These are the original batteries from the GoPro Hero 9 that I got, and they're pretty much starting to swell up a little bit too. So they're pretty much dicked. I've left them in the charger for about a year and a half now. So I think it kind of cocked them over, I really do. I got an Apple Watch. I got a new battery and stuff for it. I got a really good deal on an Apple Watch. It was like 50 bucks for an Apple Watch 4, but the battery's cocked over. So I ordered a new battery for it, and this kit comes with to put it in. 
So leave a comment down below if you want to see me attempt that because the thing's smaller than cock. But I should do that because the battery don't even last for a day. So I love it when I buy stuff to fix stuff and then it sits around for like a year and a half. Do you ever do that? Leave a comment down below if you do that because I do that quite often. And it, it's probably kind of a dumb thing to do. Update on the bathroom, it's not going anywhere. I'm waiting for that. I gotta sell the trailer, like I said, recoup some cash because I gotta get some plumbing done and I gotta knock the floor out to do that and this and that and the other thing. So at least it's dry down here now and there's no moisture. I know I'm short of bathroom and that kind of sucks because when I really gotta take a poop and the girls were upstairs in the bathroom and kind of yuked over, I almost had a poop in the friggin' laundry tub once. My laundry tub is actually the urinal right now for down here, just so you know. I don't know if you piss in your laundry tub, but you might leave your comments down below if you do. It's kind of a good place to piss, really, when you think about it. If you turn the water on, you just let her hang, right? Let her eat, Captain. But leave me any comments down below if there's anything you want me to show you or do or something you miss. I know I know what you're gonna say. Other than cooking with Bilsov, okay? That takes a lot out of me, that cooking with Bilsov, because I gotta set up multiple cameras, I gotta talk to you the whole time I'm cooking, and I can't have any interruptions. And. <laughs> With two girls in the house, it's very hard to get no interruptions. Especially when they're home every weekend, like me. So, that's one of the biggest reasons why I've done a cook with Bill if you're wondering. I know you guys like that stuff, but I'm not that good of a cook, okay? I, I can only cook so much for you, and then... I do have a chicken recipe, though, that I made my own batter, and it was really good. So, maybe I'll do that one for you. No ketchup or brown sugar, though. It's just eggs, and this and that, and the other friggin' thing. Maybe you can make twist my arm into doing a video for you on that. RC cars, RC cars. We'll talk a little RC here. I lost my interest in RC cars, to be honest with you. I have this metal excavator that I'm never using. So it's for sale as well, if anybody wants one. Right there, it's upside down right now, how you doing? But that's for sale. If you're coming to the area and you're looking for one of them, hit me up. I'll make you a good deal on it. They're like, $800 new and you shoot me a 350 or something you can have her and then I got two TRX Fords left both broken I've got a axial that's ripped in pieces I've got a slash I've got a what are they called a Rossler and I got my boat which I haven't had out in four years now because the props wrong and it overheats the batteries and wrecks the batteries instantly so that's what's going on with the RCs. This corner is kind of just cocked over. Got a brand new shirt here that I've made three years ago for the old Lake Freighters and Boats that I've never sold. I've got an I Love Sarnia in a, uh, uh, in a small. And of course I got my cotton candy machine. So that's a little insight on the RCs. <clears throat> RCs, you all know they're very expensive. When you run them, you break them, you fix them, you break them, you fix them. It's no big deal. The parts are like three, four, five bucks, whatever. But when you break multiple things all the time, it becomes expensive. And if you look on Marketplace right now, there's one hell of a lot of RCs for sale. So what does that tell you? It tells me that people are having a hard time selling RCs. Watch this, right, Snowflake? Yep, yeah, see? She knows. Right, Snowflake? Yeah, I know. At least, you, at least you talk to me. The wife don't, but at least you do. Right, Snowflake? Oh, see? Friggin' right you do. Oh, I should sell this stuff too. If you know anybody looking for a, a vlog or um, podcast mic phone, I got one right here. It's not a bad little mic. It comes with a doodad and the whatnots, and it's for sale too. Everything's for sale in Life of Bills. I don't know what the hell's going on there. We'll have to look at that. I forgot I even had that sitting there, you know that? I don't even know how it works, to be honest with you, anymore. Memory card in there. How'd that happen? Something's not quite right here, Captain. Oh, I see what's going on. That's no big deal. It just has to be mounted back in. Oh, decent. Man, I used to use this thing all the time. Whatever happened to the good old days? You know what? I might hold on to this because I might start a vlog channel one day. You never know. So maybe we'll hold on to this one. Get the stupid thing back together. All right, so that goes like that. Okay, that goes like that. 
What am I missing here? Oh, this one's got to go down here. I think that's it. I don't know what the hell those are for. Yeah, there you go. That was easy. Fixed. How you doing today? Ken four over. Captain. Copy. Copy that. Over. Andy Spitgard. How you doing? <laughs> right. Okay. It's just a cheapie. That's why. Not too bad. A newer it is. Can't even remember how it plugs in. Let's take a gander at this time. What does it use? Oh, USB. I don't think I have a plug on the side of that. What if it worked for the camera? Let's check it out. Let's see if it works. Oh, it comes on. Here, let's plug you in. Plug you into the GoPro. -ge. See what happens. Come here, GoPro. I know there's a spot in here for a mic, I think. Nope. <gasps> What's this? Here, let's, let's jab you into here. Sound different? Listen here, folks. This is the way she goes when she goes. And if she don't go the way she goes, she goes the way she goes. And that's the way it is. And that's the way you're going to have to go with it. Because that's the way we are. Right? Can't bore. Did it work? Or did I just totally lose the audio? If I did, I've got the voice over it. But anyways, there's an update in the office down here. No, I haven't done my ceiling yet. And no, I'm not going to do my ceiling. Because it's quiet down here and that's all that matters. And once in a while, I like sucking on some insulation. See that? Did you see that? I caught that with my tongue. Anyway, I'm going to let you go. Just wanted to give you an update here, down here, in the dirty old Belso studio. Hopefully everyone's having a good day like me, and we'll see you on the next one.